Hello drivers, I'm Tom Parks from Equipment Services. I'm here today to talk to you about this year's line haul tractor order. Both the Sterling and the Volvos this year will have a 10-speed transmission. That's a change from our standard 7 and 9 speeds. The reason for the change is simple. Our supplier, Eaton Fuller, will discontinue production of the 7 and 9 speed. The obvious choice was the 10 speed. These are all direct drive transmissions. You should no notice little difference between the 10 and the 9 and 7 speed in as much as the top three gears are the same ratio. On the bottom end, the gear ratios will actually help you with startability and gradeability. One of the big differences, especially from the 7 speed, is the addition of a two speed lever on the shift lever. This lever changes you from low to high range and back again. The seven speed has all the gears on the same plane. There's no range selector used when shifting. On the nine and 10 speed, however, there is a range selector on the shift lever used to go from high to low range and back down again when shifting. This is fairly obvious. When you get into the tractor to operate it, you need to look for this selector. You can also tell what transmission's in the truck by the shift lever decal mounted on the sun visor of the tractor. There are actually two decals so that when the sun visor is down, you can actually see what shift pattern is. Here's an example of a shift from low range to high range, starting in fourth gear. Note the range selector is down for low range. Fourth gear, fifth gear, range selector up, shift to sixth gear. You're now in high range. Now here's an example of a downshift from high range to low range, starting in seventh gear. Note the position of the range selector is up for high range. Seventh gear, sixth gear, range selector down, fifth gear. Now you're in low range. There's also a difference in how the differential lockout operates between the 7 and the 9 speed. On the 7 speed, the differential lockout is manually engaged and manually disengaged. On the 9 and the 10 speed, the differential lockout is manually engaged but when you shift from low range to high range, it automatically disengages. Remember, on a single axle tractor with a full locking differential, the differential lockout should not be operated at speeds above 25 miles per hour. One note about the tandem axle tractors. Those vehicles have an interlocking differential. That has to be manually engaged and disengaged and can be operated in any gear at any speed. Drivers, make sure you know what you're operating when you get into a tractor. Look for the shifting decals mounted on the sun visor. That's all I have for now. Drive safe, leave yourself an out.